The production of hand-rolled cigars was actually the largest and most influential industry in Key West during the 19th and early 20th century. Now it all began when William Wall, a shipwreck survivor, he opened the first large-scale cigar factory. For the next hundred years, cigar production dominated the dreams, aspiration, money, and politics of the island. It's still very popular today, and we're going to talk about the largest cigar factory that you'll find right here in Key West. Guys, thank you both for being on the show with me this You're morning. You're quite welcome. All right, let's start by telling our viewers how you became so popular. Well, it's really just a combination of two people with some great ideas. You know, I've been here 30-some years, and I really understand that Key West allows you if you're willing to become the best you're best at, if you can connect with somebody who also believes that concept, wonderful things can happen. Mm -hmm. I met us off 10 years ago. Uh, we talked about the cigar business. I didn't know anything. He knew everything. And I had some connections in Dominican Republic. I got interested in it because I didn't understand cigars. Mm -hmm. You know, that favorite phrase of close but no cigar. Right, I like that saying. Yeah, I <laughs> do too. And, and that meant that if you had a cigar that you were validated. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and he convinced me, it took him a year. We got to do this, we got to do this. I said, I don't want to sell cigars. And then I became addicted and once he showed me what was going on and what his ideas were, how to capture the market compared to the normal commercial marketing of cigars, which mm -hmm. is a world of difference. Mm -hmm. You know, the old hand-rolled cigars uh, don't exist that much anymore. They're just produced by the millions. I think there's like 80 million cigars come out of Dominica every year mm -hmm. in all different brand names. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's no love. Mm -hmm. But you guys do the love. He did. Yeah, you if do. you can see in the and video. And that's... Yeah, if you can see in the video. And I backed out and said, go for it. Okay. I'll back you in anything you want to do. Mm -hmm. And I turned the reins loose. Mm -hmm. And he made it what it is today. Okay, okay. And now what were you just saying the in this video? Yeah, the most po uh, important is to edge the leaf. What mm -hmm. we do in the factory. We edge mm -hmm. the leaf five years before we roll them. Mm -hmm. It's very important to pick very nice and good and good size leaf mm -hmm. and to spend good amounts of money on a good quality leaf mm -hmm. and not to save any money like everyone do mm -hmm. on a less less good quality leaf mm -hmm. and this is the key which you bring the, the best leaf edge them mm -hmm. is the best cigars that's the best okay. now what we do it's a 71 different shape of cigars 71 different size times six six different wrappers, mm -hmm. which is Connecticut, Maduro, Habano, uh, Dulwap, uh, Jamaican, and Cameroon. Mm -hmm. No one in the world have 71 different shapes. We have 20 different ones. It's Petit, Petit mm -hmm. Torpedo, Petit Robusto, Petit Parella, which is the short time smoke. And we have 20 different flavors. Flavor cigars, it's called Cuban leaf dessert cigars, mm -hmm. or dessert after lunch or after mm -hmm. dinner. Mm -hmm. And we are very successful now. You are. You are very successful, and your prices are very reasonable, too. Very aren't reasonable. They? We start from $5. The most expensive is $20 cigar. $20, that's all. The most expensive. And our most prestigious account, which mm -hmm. we're very proud of, mm -hmm. is the Rolls Royce uh, Entrepreneurs uh, Enthusiast Club of Switzerland. Wow. Who we send 1,000 cigars every two months to them, mm -hmm. and they selected us because they just love our Presidente cigars, which is one of the biggest cigars. I don't think you can get a bigger cigar than that. No, no. Great. That's an accomplishment, seven, you guys. Yeah. That's definitely, definitely an accomplishment. Plus, we have several other European markets that we deal with, and they just keep growing and growing and growing. I don't, I don't know what other people think when they're trying to sell cigars. Of course, he has all the look. I mean, he, he knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. I just said, okay, I put my hand in his back pocket and said, <laughs> drag me along. Well, you've obviously both done something course, right. And now course. you also do boxes as well. Of course. Tell me about the boxes. Okay, the boxes, the cedarwood box, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. We start with three designs, now we have hundreds of designs. Mm -hmm. Now our biggest, uh, our biggest business is the boxes. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful cedar wood box which the customer gets without cost. Mm -hmm. You want to buy five cigars, you're getting five cigar box for free. Wow. Just to see how we appreciate it, mm -hmm. this business. And we have 30 uh, people who make the boxes in Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So okay. we're making basically 100,000 uh, cigars in a month. They're really collectibles. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. handcrafted Spanish cedar. Mm -hmm. And just to give you an idea, mm -hmm. and I'm very proud of everything that we've mm -hmm. accomplished. You should be. He just placed an order for 6,000 boxes mm -hmm. of all different dimensions, okay? which is probably <laughs> will be repeated in 60 more days. That's how many boxes we sell. That's great. Well, hopefully our viewers can make their way out to Island Cigar Factory, get a box, and get some of the amazing cigars that you guys produce. Yep. Thank you so much Thank for being on the show and sharing this you. with our viewers. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me. I will.